Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Rising World on the Radio Man 03. It is awesome to have you along. A new update, 9.2, I think is what it's called, 9.2. I may be wrong about that. I was just looking at it, and I can't remember what I was reading at the top of the screen. Nevertheless, some new stuff came to the game. Not a whole lot of new stuff, but a lot of bug fixes and a few changes as well. One down here, the Play With Friends. I don't recognize that from past, but I think that's here too now. And um, Steam supported as well. So we're back. Uh, good news, those of you who got my tweet, that uh, the world is not lost. My motherboard crashed on me last Thursday, so I was without a computer for a few days. But fortunately, Dell sent me a brand new motherboard free of charge because of a warranty. And because it was their update that actually ruined my motherboard, they uh, fixed it. Had a technician come into my house, fix the computer, and everything is running just fine and dandy. And we're back, and the world is saved. And uh, the world is perfect. It's a perfect world. Ooh, we need some food. We need some food. Uh, food is over here, I believe. Oh, well, there's some corn. There's some corn. I need some corn. What the heck? So, things have changed. One is our stamina is supposed to last a little bit longer now. Can I eat while I run? Yep. Yeah, we've got a little more stamina. You can see I'm actually running a lot farther. Before, I couldn't get past the bridge. And the stamina would run out. I don't know if I was concerned about the stamina being too short, but I guess maybe some people were. But uh, for me, it seemed like it was okay uh, to escape problems and stuff like that and uh, enemies. It seemed to be working for us with the lions and the tiger or the tigers and the jaguars and stuff. Uh, am I done eating corn? I am. I think I'm done eating the corn. Something else that is a really neat thing. It used to be that you could push L, and it would light up it would, like you had. A, this invisible light with you. That's no longer active in survival mode. It's only in multiplayer mode, or I mean creative mode right now. Uh, but they did add a... They've added some clothes. Let's go with, uh, if I'm not mistaken, top, maybe costumes. Uh, I didn't look for these before I got on. I probably should have. Leather armor. No, that's clothes accessories. Okay, so they've got a cappy now. So a ball cap. And then they got the cappy camo, which is nice. Uh, a cowboy hat. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. I love it. I might have to get me one of those. It's a backup hat for my, my fedora. Hmm. I like that. Also, one of the best hats I think they brought here. Helmet with a lamp. Four iron plates and one light bulb. Kind of weird that you have to make it in here. Safety helmet. Safety helmet with lamp. Oh, wow. There's two different kinds. One of the military helmets has been updated too. It looks better too. Uh, that's got the chin strap for cave diving. This would be something we'd want to make. Four iron plates and a light bulb. I think we've got that. Let's take a look and see. I think we've got... We made light bulbs, right? I'm pretty sure we made some light bulbs. I'm going to check all these chests. There's some. It's somewhere in here. Uh, no. Okay. There's, there's one right there. Okay. And then four iron plates, I think it said, right? So go in here. Iron plates, a one, two, and a three, and a four. And we should be able to make that helmet. Oh, nice. Inventory. Now, they've also, they also worked on the clothing. You remember how you see some of your skin bleeding through the clothes? I noticed that that's not the case anymore. Things look a lot better, except when you look up at my hat. I have hair. They introduced one new, uh, a new hairstyle, longer hair. Um... So that's something I guess they're still working on getting uh, getting that figured out and what they need to do to get that fixed. There we are. Look at us. We're ready to go mining. So what do you do, L? Oh, sweet mama. That's nice. Uh, let's go down and try it out in the mine real quick. Uh, before we do that, though, let me talk about the house a little bit. Okay, I've extended the, uh, the front sort of... Um, Bay windows. Bay windows. Oh my god, it just came to me. I've been thinking about that every episode. Bay windows. We've got this uh, bump down uh, down farther, okay? And I'll work out how I want to get this to, to line up with the house. Uh, this up here, I think I want to take this out. And um, I, I've got to rework them a little bit. I also raised the roof, the, the wall height by one. So now, do I have any blocks on me? I do. Uh, let's go over here and take a look. 
it is now eight blocks high. And the reason for that, one of you gave me a great suggestion, thank you so much for it, is to use half blocks. So we're gonna do kind of a stucco ceiling like this. Uh, not stucco, um, what's that called? Anyway, so we're gonna do a ceiling like that right there. So that's a half slab. And then up here, we're gonna do a wood floor up on top of that. Now, I was kind of hoping I could do, you can't get away with doing, let's see, do I have any in my inventory? I don't, I've got that iron left and I got a light bulb in my inventory too. Let's go, let's go make a couple of those real fast before we go down the mine and try this hat out. Let's put this stuff away. I don't know how much building we're gonna get done today, but I do wanna take a look at some of the new stuff. This guy right here too, I wanna look at this as well. Uh, the iron can go back in here. Um, bum, 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 bum. What else was I looking for? Oh, I've got some. Oh, I've got apples. Let's grab that. That's going to give us eight. Um, slabs. Slabs. Slab, slab, slab. Slabbage. Uh, block bench. Yes. Uh, favorites. Do I have that in our favorites right now? Oh, I didn't put it in the favorites? Really? That was that was foolish. Um, plaster. There it is right here. Let's Let's mark that in our favorites as well. Okay, so we take this guy right here and we make our slabs, right? half block so that's a half block a slab so we're gonna make a couple of those and then oh boy um tell me i put the wood in here i did okay so let's i need a piece of log for that let's grab uh we'll grab 32 of these guys right here and we're gonna make six of those so let's go back to our inventory let's oh for pete's sake i made the wrong thing there we go inventory I'll grab these guys here and these guys here. Now, I was kind of hoping that what I could do was, we'll just do it right out here. Now, the slabs, if you use your arrow key, you can move them up three different positions. There's the middle, the bottom, and the top. I was kind of hoping that what I could do was put this guy on the bottom and then put this guy up on top, but I can't do that. So that's unfortunate. That would be a nice thing if we could do that. Um, even in Minecraft, that's a problem. You know, where you can't do that in Minecraft. Now, I can bring it over here and can do that, but it's like it's a conflicting with the material beneath it. So you still need two blocks in order to do the slabs. But, <clears throat> excuse me, the slabs do look really nice. I keep hitting uh, escape. The slabs are still a nice choice for this because, um, well... Instead of, I, I guess I could have used two blocks because basically what it is is that this guy is using up this whole block down here and this guy is using this whole block up here. So I could still do that. But in the future, if I'm not mistaken, Rising World wants to bring electricity to the game. So your lights are going to have switches and things like that. Now, I'm, I don't know. I don't know if this is going to work this way, but this would be a great way to be able to hide your lighting in your house. Your wiring could run in between these slabs. I don't know if that's going to be a case. <clears throat> or excuse me, or if that wire is going to conflict with the two areas as well. So I don't know. I don't know. It'd be kind of cool if, if it doesn't, but we'll have to wait and see if that's going to be the case. So up twice, and we'll just put these guys in place here real quick, get them out of our inventory, uh, and then up like so. There we go. Beautiful. So that's going to be our ceiling, and that's going to be our floor, and that's going to match up with the wood stairs right here. But you can see I did go up one more all the way around. I have all of our windows now marked out and where they're going to go. They're going to go just where they are. Uh, this room, I think, was pretty much done. I've also decided that I'm going to simplify this a little bit. We may get more creative with these windows over here, but right now I'm going to go pretty simple with these. You guys sent me some suggestions on how I could round them out. The thing about this is, is that if I round them out, I've only got the one piece right here, and it's not going to meet up very well in the middle. At least I can't see it doing that because I've only got one block. I suppose what I could do is take this out and take this out and make this three wide and then meet up and have rounded windows on both sides like that. That's a possibility. We may do something like that. I don't know. We might do something like that. That's a possibility. The kitchen, I got a simple window over the sink and then we'll do the rest of the cabinets in here. We'll store our food and refrigerator and all that good stuff in here. And then I got another window right here, which of course we're going to eventually have a uh, balcony as we walk out this door. There'll be a balcony along here and we'll be able to walk outside and take a look at the world. And don't forget, uh, we'll see, did they, I thought the boats and trains were coming this one. No? Maybe not? Maybe that's the next update that's coming? I thought we were... Uh, I have to go back and look at the notes, but I could have sworn we were going to have something... 
coming in boats or trains or maybe that's the next big update they were asking us for that I don't know I don't know I'll have to go back and look at the notes I'm sure you guys could tell me too uh, what else they fixed some multiplayer stuff but that doesn't really concern me uh, I guess multiplayer was using too much wool and there were a few other things causing some crashes and stuff like that so that's been fixed up um, but the big things I noticed for me was the stamina uh, is a little bit longer and then this really awesome helmet for uh, caving and stuff like that we could just take that with us and bam we're good to go I thought remember I was complaining about how tiny these lights are let's get this uh, now let's get that out of there we're gonna get this out of here and then we're gonna put this guy right back in here do a little funny dance on the stairs here we do that guy right there and then what we do is we come back with this right here we put him here you don't see that light back there but now we have light in that area huh how awesome is that so let's get the other one let's get the other one taken care of too it just occurred to me when I walked past those plants once I thought you know what we could easily do that and make those uh, look really good. Um, lights. I believe it's in the Tier 2 workbench. We have to go for this. Lights. Uh, so I missed you guys. I did. I missed you. Uh, but fortunately, the computer issue is taken care of and uh, we're good to go. What, which one was it? Table lamp? It was just a... Here it is. One iron rod. Okay, an iron rod. Beautiful. We can, take, we can do that. We've got those already made too. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. And we'll put this guy in here. Anything else we don't need? We'll throw the blocks in the block bench and stuff like that. The drill's downstairs where it should be. And let's craft that guy up right there. And we should have him in our inventory. Yeah, gotta move the pot first. And then we can move this guy right here. And then we can put this guy right back in here. And then this guy right back here. Oh, that's beautiful, huh? So that's going to be a nice little light in our staircase. You can't even see it in there, but it's going to light up those two little alcoves for us as we go up and down the stairs, which is going to be beautiful. That is just going to be fantastic. Let's put this here, and let's click that in there, and let's put a few of these things away. We don't need the blocks in our inventory while we're downstairs. Trying out our brand new spanking helmet, and that goes there, and we'll take the axe. We don't need the wood on us. Got our fedora. Yeah, that's enough room in here. We've got some food on us, too. I've got my water skin if I need it. But I'll take you down to the mine. You guys haven't seen that forever. It's nothing to write home about, but it is there, and we've been using it a lot. And I've actually made quite a bit of progress. We'll be careful. Uh, falling seems to be a little bit easier now, too. They've, they've, I think, made it a little bit easier for you to fall. So right now, I don't really need torches and torch mounts if I'm going to have a miner's helmet. But this is the mine so far, so I'm going to take you, I'm going to walk down here, take a sip of my coffee. Anywhere you see any big gaps in the walls and stuff like that, that's because I found some ores and I dug them up. And there are ores still in the walls that I have not dug out yet because we have a lot of it. So I thought, well, if I need it down the road, I can come back and get it because you can see right here I've got a little bit of iron up here showing. Boom. Boom. We didn't get it because it's, you know, it's just that sort of a thing right there. But I found a bunch of stuff up here. You can see. Oh, oh, oh look at that. Oh, man, that is awesome. Now, the, the when you clicked L, it did the same thing. It would show you uh, brightness like this, too. But I always felt like it was kind of cheaty, you know? Look at all the iron in here. Just tons of iron. Uh, I've always felt it was kind of cheaty to use the L key. Now, I know they gave that to us because this helmet was probably coming in the future, but I still felt kind of kind of dirty using it. I didn't feel right using it. Uh, we got some silver right here, guys. Silver. Okay. And let's take a look at what level we're at, too. We are at uh, negative 114. Now, silver you can find on the surface, which I think is kind of weird, but you can find silver on the surface near the water's edge. So maybe not. Maybe some of it is pushed up through the ground, and, and now it's available to us on the surface, kind of like gold does. So, you know, you never know. Could be the thing. We've got some tungsten left over right here. Uh, what else do we got here down in this mighty cave hole? We had a big chunk of something in there. I don't know what it was. Probably iron or something like that. And then I know I found some gold down here too, but you can see I have done some serious digging people for the stone. We got some more iron. We have some coal sitting here. There's some more iron right there. It's just abundant down in here. And this is just one cave hole, and I've not run into any cave holes while I'm digging yet either. So there's a there was a little more iron right here. There, 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 there. Look at that. It's just bust right on through there. Ah, here we go. Look at that. 
Oh, delicious gold. How does that look with the... See, with the torch light, it doesn't look as good, but you put this on? Man, that looks like gold, huh? I've never actually looked at it with a torch before. That does look like gold. Four gold ore. Oh, wait a minute. I've never picked up four of anything before. Three. Four. Oh, wait a minute. No, wait, 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 wait. Let's clear this. I think what it's doing is just adding one to the three that I picked up. No, we picked up four gold. Hmm. More gold here. Oh, baby. We're rich. So, ore-wise, we're doing okay. I've been leaving some of that behind because I just don't need it, you know? I just don't need that stuff right now. We're doing some serious building and having a good time with that. My goal is to dig to hell, though. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and do that. I believe it's at negative 799 is when I'm going to reach hell. And we can go down and, uh, you know, visit the underworld. Now, there's nothing down there yet, and I, I believe the goal is to have something down there eventually. But uh, so far, nothing. Do you guys see, like, four coming in at all? I don't see four stone coming in. Come on, give me four. So yeah, if you drill fast, it starts stacking it in the inventory. So... I love this drill, by the way. If you don't have one, you gotta get yourself one. Oh, something else I noticed, too. We're gonna leave the mine here in just a second. What do I got? Uh, see, you could just... This drill is so nice, because it used to be such a grind to have to s just slowly swing that pick, you know? And now, I mean, look at this. I'm just raking it in. This thing is just spectacular. I hope you guys can hear me all right. I know the drill's loud, but I'm all about sound effects, baby. I gotta feel like I'm in it, right? That's why we play games like this, so we can uh, be enveloped in the game. Oh, baby, that's awesome. That is so sweet. I love that. I love that. Okay, so let's see what we got in our inventory. Yeah, we're, we're good. Okay, so this is the mine. This is what I've done so far. And then what I do is I just kind of come back real quick and just kind of just give it a little hammer tap here and there just to kind of knock the stone down so it's a little smoother walking. I'm not too concerned about how this looks. I'll tell you one thing, though. If you're running down here, there's some, there's a few little drops I've got in here that'll, you know, take a little, da you'll take a little damage on them, that's for sure. Boom, like that. They did something with the torches, too, to make the torches better. I don't know what... I, I, I never had any problem with the torches. What I have noticed about the torch mounts is is that sometimes I have them in my inventory. When I take them out of my inventory and put them in a chest, they change the look. They look different. Uh, sometimes, and they don't stack right either. They, they kind of alter their appearance, and then they don't stack. It's kind of weird. But, you know, that in the long term really isn't a big deal for me. So I've got a chest with torch mounts in it. Big deal. But yeah, you can see, man. I've, I've done some serious digging, huh? There's nothing to this hole. We've, we've done all of this. All of this hole is us. So, stamina is still going. Uh, I'm, yeah, I highly doubt that I can make it to the top of the cave with the stamina. Yeah, I can't. Almost, though. Uh, I could not make it this far before. So let's go ahead and take a look at our ores that we have. Um... Shift and click. You can see I found a bunch of gold now. Iron, look at that. Tons of iron. There's our copper. There's our tungsten. Aluminum and uh, the silver right there. So, not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. It's actually worked out pretty good. And look at the coal we've got, too, for smelting. When we really got to get some serious smelting going on, that'll be cool. And don't forget, uh, last episode, we actually dug a hole through here and got in this way. So, bam. There we go. That's going to be our entrance way into the mine. We'll seal this up with some stone and make this go away. Uh, back up we go. We can turn off our helmet. This is going to be nice. The helmet will be nice working at night, too, so the videos will be better because we'll have a little bit of light showing and you guys will be able to see better, so that's really neat. Um, where are the torch mounts at? Just to kind of show you. 
These guys here, uh, that's the first time I've made any of those, so I don't know. Um, hmm. Uh, I don't know. Anyways, let's take a look over here real quick. I wanted to show you a couple other things that are new. If we go into weapons, there is now a wooden sword. There is a long sword and a sword. There is a small battle axe now, which is... Uh, we had a battle axe before, and they changed it. Now it's back. There's also a small mace and a mace. The Morning Star is here again, and the Warhammer. The Warhammer is not something we've seen either, but there it is. That's pretty cool. Um, and the other big thing I noticed that I was really appreciative of is here's the rifle repeater. If you remember, the clip for it was made out of mithril, and it was expensive. I think it was a mithril ore per five rounds. Now it's four iron rods and one sulfur. So that's a different well, that's a different case now, isn't it? Sulfur. Oh. That I hadn't noticed. It was, it was just mithril before, I believe. Now we have to have sulfur and iron rods. I have no sulfur. I've not even run into that in the cave either. So if you guys know what level that starts, let me know. Uh, I cut down this uh, acacia tree. It's just not going to uh, it's not going to work out here. Anything else I wanted to talk about before I end the episode? It's going to be a quick one. It was just going to be an update, let you guys know that I'm back. The computer's working. I'm going to do a full-fledged episode next chance I get, but it's getting kind of late on my third, my Tuesday. Tuesday and Thursday, you guys, as you know, is my longer day at work. Uh, some of you don't like these guys here because they kind of blend in, so we may change that around too. Uh, but here's the, uh, the house is looking much better. Once I get the ceiling in, we're going to need quite a bit of stone to get the ceiling put in. But once this room is all sealed in, it should look really good. And then we'll work on moving uh, up onto the second floor and getting the second floor ironed out. Get a roof on it. We can move all of our stuff in. And home sweet home, right? Home sweet home. So, uh, that's going to have to wrap it up for me, I think, today. If you enjoy this, if you enjoyed today's episode... Do hit that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share. I'm the Radio Man Zero Three. Have an awesome, fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time.